From time to time, you may need to add or remove users and groups to your repository. This could be when someone leaves your firm or when you have a new hire. You may also need to adjust an existing group's membership or a user's membership in certain groups. You must be a repository administrator to be able to do this. In this tutorial, we will cover how to add and remove a user, sending a welcome email, changing a user's password, and deleting a user or group. To add a new user, go to Admin, select the repository, Go to the second menu option titled Add and Remove Users and Groups. Enter the new user's email address in the space at the top. You will enter the user's full name and assign them a username. The username will default to the user's email address. We recommend that you use this default setting. Make sure that you set them as either an internal or external user, for most users, select NON for the repository admin type. Select from the list of existing groups to place them in. By default, all internal users will be part of the internal users group. If you wish, you may adjust the users group membership later. If the Send Welcome email button is checked, the new user will then be sent a notification by email with a login username and a link so they can create their password and login. To send the welcome email for an existing user, go to a user group that they are in and check the box to send a welcome email. An email will be sent to all users in that group that have not logged in yet. If an administrator wants to change a user's password, they must use the Need Login Assistance link on the login page and enter the person's email address or their username. The person will be sent an email with a link to reset their password. An administrator cannot force a new password on another user. Passwords are not sent through an email. A user can be removed from the repository by highlighting their name in the internal or external list and then clicking the remove button below the list. Once a user is removed, they no longer have any access to the repository and its documents. Thank you for using NetDocuments. For more information and more tutorials, please visit support.netdocuments.com.